Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. We have a new doorbell. Uh, actually, this is the chime. This is the doorbell button. And this is the transformer. Yes, I'm going to be installing a hardwire doorbell today. And to be honest with you, actually most of the work is already done because the wiring is has already been done for this particular house. The house used to have a doorbell that worked. Uh, this is the transformer of the old doorbell and I believe this went bad. And currently the house doesn't even have a doorbell. Um, it does, uh, the chime has been removed. The doorbell button has been removed. Actually, one time they did do a remote doorbell to replace this, but uh, the wires are still in. So I'm hoping to utilize those today. And so here we are in the front door and you can see this is where the original doorbell was. Uh, it was covered originally and these were taped up, but I exposed them and they're currently not hot. Um, they're low voltage anyway. Um, so this is the white wire coming out and this was the red wire coming out and they barely come out of this hole so I'm going to have to be careful wiring up the doorbell. And so right here is where the transformer used to sit. Now the transformer basically uh, reduces the voltage from the uh, inline 120 volt down to oh about 10 to 16 volts. And that is what the doorbell will run on, is the lower voltage. And that's what the transformer is for. And so the original transformer used to sit in just like this uh, and get the power from these two lines, uh, this white line and black line. So that would be the power coming into the transformer. Now these wires here are those to the doorbell. This one actually, these two went to the doorbell button and these two went to originally the doorbell chime. Now these wires actually go all the way up to the kitchen into a kitchen cabinet uh, up high near the ceiling and I'll be installing the chime in the similar location. Uh, quite often uh, doorbells are also installed in hallways but uh, I'm just going to be following these wires and installing the chime basically where these wires end. Now originally it also actually had a back door uh, doorbell and there was a line, another line that went to the back door as well, but I'm not going to be uh, bothering with that. So I'm just going to do a simple front door do uh, doorbell system. Okay, so I took the transformer out of its package along with the little doorbell button here. And uh, the transformer I got actually has three options for voltage, the 10, 16, or excuse me, 8, 16, and 24 volt. And now you want to uh, look at your receiver, your chime, and figure out which one it works off of. And this one is the uh, 1610, so that would be... Um, the 1610 right there and it shows you how to wire it up so you can have the three options so uh, just be aware uh, that your chime may require a different voltage and so get your transformer uh, so it can work and this one actually uh, has three different options now I haven't taken the chime out of its package because the back of it pretty much shows you how you're going to wire it up so basically you have two wires to your doorbell button itself and it doesn't really matter which way uh, they're wired. You can either wire the white one to this lead or the white one to that one, red, etc. It doesn't really matter. So again in this case, uh, one, uh, you, you can pick either one. Uh, wire goes all the way to the chime and will be wired into the front door uh, terminal here. Uh, the transformer terminal to the chime will go of course to one of the leads to the transformer. Now the other lead to the transformer will go back to the doorbell. So it's basically just a loop. Now you don't want any of these wires uh, uh, that's powering the transformer or the wires in back of the transformers to be exposed. Now these wires are fine because they're low voltage but the ones that are actually powering the transformers are high voltage. So I do have this plate that will go on top uh, and cover this little box. And then the transformer just gets attached to that plate and then I'll wire it up from the back. And so these wires will be uh, covered up and not exposed. 
Okay, so I went ahead and wired up the uh, correct wiring, white to white, black to black, and then I just grounded the ground to the plate so it's uh, uh, everything's grounded. And so what I want to do first is just to kind of test out these voltages. I got a multimeter, put it on automatic here. And let's see, these two leads should give me my 16 volts. And I'm getting 18.5, which is fine. That's about 16. These two should give around at least eight. And they're given 9.6. And these two should be close to 24. And they're giving 28. So it is working and it's all generally uh, within the range I need. And so I'm just gonna reattach this plate uh, and uh, turn off the power and then reattach the plate and then go from there. So the doorbell wires extending from the trim were just a little bit too short to actually attach the doorbell button. So I did uh, attach a couple of small pieces of wire. I, I soldered those on and I'm just gonna add some shrink tubing here uh, to make everything secure. Okay, so here is the chime itself. You can see the face of it, and it has this backer, which is actually attached to the wall. You could either attach it uh, horizontally or vertically. We'll figure out what what fits. It looks like, take off those rubber bands. Uh, and here's some hardware that goes with it. Okay, looking through the instructions, it looks like if you can kind of zoom in it, there's either up direction that way or to the left. So I'll probably be installing it like that. Again, there are there's a front, there's a rear, and this is for the uh, transformer. So I'm gonna be wiring one wire to the front and one wire to the transformer. Okay, you can see where I installed the chime itself. It's on in an upper cabinet right here. Uh, again, I did that because the existing wires were right here. So there was the red and white that's coming from the transformer. This was an extra one that used to go to the back door. And so I uh, wired the white one to the front door and the red one to the transformer. And so after I test it out, I will go ahead and put the faceplate on this. And so at the transformer, I essentially joined the two white wires, the one coming from the doorbell and the one coming from the, uh, the chime together. So basically it's, it basically bypasses the transformer. I, uh, so the red wire that's coming from the doorbell itself is uh, connected to the transformer and the red wire coming from the chime is connected to the transformer. And there you go. I hope this video helped you out. And if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I'll have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.